Hello everyone. Well, here's my collection of uh, flashlights and uh, batteries and chargers that I have. And as you can see, I have various different sizes of uh, flashlights. And of course, they take various different battery sizes. I have a 26550s for the uh, large truss fire, uh, 18650s for the uh, smaller uh, one inch diameter tubes. Um, I also have a, uh, what is this? A 14500 14, for the small Cree light here. Uh, you know, and you get up, you know, I get uh, nickel metal hydride, I uh, have nickel, nickel cadmium, some of them, and I have uh, triple A's, double A's, you name it. I have a, a, a whole bunch of different batteries that I use for not just flashlights, but all, all of the electronic devices I have. Well, I end up with this problem. End up with, you know, one, two, three, four five chargers all for all to charge the batteries for all these various components and uh, beyond well I was getting kind of tired of dealing with all this and besides I don't know how much these cheap uh, chargers I got with the uh, batteries actually you know function or how well they function so I decided to get rid of the whole lot in one fell swoop so let's get rid of these I don't want these anymore and by the way, the 15 minute charger here, this one takes about 24 hours to, uh, to uh, fully charge a nickel metal hydride double A, or four of them anyway. So, what did I do as a solution? I bought the Nikkor IntelliCharger I4. Now, this beautiful charger is an, is an intelligent charger. It's got circuitry to charge every single battery. and it has four bays for batteries, which is a great thing. Four batteries at one time is better than two or one. And the beauty of it is that it will take a whole host of different size batteries at the same time, right? So, and chemistries too. So it independently charges every single one of the batteries um, it senses each one of the batteries and charges it as a single circuit each one for each battery. So let's uh, move this stuff out of the way here and I'll give you a close up of it. Oh, my various flashlights. All right. There is a better view of it. So, as you can see, it's got adjustable tangs to put any size battery you want in there. I will put another frame on this video towards the end that shows you all the specs of all the batteries it can take. Basically, it can take any battery uh, except for a 9 volt uh, batteries. Those, it doesn't recharge because there's no, no receptacle on it for them. But, um, what we have, as you can see, uh, four fairly si uh, large size uh, bays. I don't think you can get tw two 2650s beside each other. Um, sorry, 20. What are these things here? The uh, 26 uh, 650s beside each other because it's just too wide, it's not going to go, right? But you can get uh, that arrangement into it and it will charge them all. And it will uh, actually allow you to put at least two of these uh, in at one time. If you put more than that, you're going to have a problem fitting them in. So let's just plug it in and see what happens. Oh, let me continue on here. One more thing plugs power plugs on this thing. It comes with a, a standard international um, power supply built right into it. So basically I think it goes up to 240 volts 50 uh, with 50 hertz or 60 hertz so it's universal. All you need is the appropriate wall plug and jack to go into that slot and it has a 12 volt DC um, AC adapter port here so you can put 12 volts of uh, 1 amp this is what they spec 12 volts 1 amp uh, power into that port to power it up say you're in your car or you're using solar uh, energy you're using 12 volts on that you can plug it straight into that so it's pretty universal for power let's plug it in and you see they start blinking all, all the uh, indicator lights are blinking let me turn the lights off here a little bit there we go get a better view of that and you get a nice blue light at the top telling you that it's functioning uh, nice. Uh, it also has some heat veins here, obviously your heat vents. Um, I haven't seen it warm up very much at all. I mean, it gets slightly warm to the touch, 
and that was after 24 hours of charging batteries so as you can see I have charged a charge battery already it was pretty well fully charged when I put it in there but um, again the nice thing about it is is that it handles each battery separately when it's charging so you don't have to worry about it being this is a you know a nickel metal hydride this is a lithium ion this is lithium ion this is lithium ion it'll handle all four different chemistries uh, by itself it also has overcharge protection so after uh, a while of it, uh, trying to charge uh, it, it basically has a timer on it it just shuts off the charge if, it, if it's trying to continuously charge for too long like I said I don't know what the specs are with that but I'll put the uh, link to the uh, uh, manual on the video description uh, another thing too is if you put them in backwards let's do that let's take one of these and put it in backwards you see that it blinks all three LEDs that's how you know that you put it in backwards it doesn't charge it doesn't do anything it just doesn't you know it's intelligent it knows you did it wrong and the only time you're gonna see that kind of a, a display is when you do that backwards if you do it if it's fully charged as you can see on the other side it's just three LEDs straight up okay so first stage as you can see it's blinking one there and what it's doing is determining the uh, chemistry of that battery and then it's going to try and charge it now warnings on this it says on AA batteries or smaller uh, that you shouldn't use just one at a time to charge because if you just put one AA battery into this charger it'll give it 750 milliamps and that's above its charging uh, uh, amperage for the battery and it will destroy it so they do warn you in the manual about that they also warn you about putting zero charged uh, unprotected lithium batteries in here because uh, I, you know there is that's a dangerous thing to do uh, so it says in the in the uh, in the actual manual itself do not put unprotected uh, zero charged lithium uh, ion, lithium ion batteries in here because there is a, a uh, chance of fire or uh, explosion either way it's a hazard so don't do that you can ease all these batteries are unprotected so that's not a problem uh, the actual charger itself has protection uh, circuitry in it so that'll keep you from doing anything you know seriously bad like overcharging or overcharging it or uh, putting in in uh, polarity backwards so basically um, the other thing about it is, is it charges pretty quickly uh, my my AA batteries which used to take me about 24 hours in my old charger to uh, charge up now take about two hours at the most to charge up fully and these are um, 2200 milliamp hour batteries so I'm pretty happy with the speed that it, it does it at and uh, I'm, I'm happy with the fact that it, it's uh, an intelligent charger that puts the right amount of charge on your batteries and then just shuts off. So, uh, you know, it's got uh, three diff different modes of charging. Again, you can see that in the, in the manual. And that is, uh, I believe, uh, a current charge, a voltage charge, and a trickle charge. So, like I said, there's no way to set any of it. It just happens automatically. It senses what you put in and it automatically sets it that way. So uh, that's my quick and uh, dirty little video on the Nikkor um, uh, i4 charger. And again, you can see in the back all its compatibilities. Um, oh yeah, and this is version two. This is the newest version from 2014. And you ask what the difference is here. The difference is that the old charger um, did not have these uh, steel grooves in the back uh, and a full copper spring like like this charger does um, it had some other sort of uh, uh, plastic uh, uh, configuration so now the charger is much better let me just show you that let's take the double A out of there and you can see it on the back how it's all metal all the way back and it's a full copper spring in there as well I'll put the uh, comparison between the two of them here uh, in this video as well as well as a link to that Okay, as promised, here are the major specs for the Nikkor IntelliCharger i4, and this is the version 2, or the second generation as they call it. Uh, it's capable of charging four batteries simultaneously. Each of the ba four battery slots monitors and charges independently. Uh, compatible and identifies lithium-ion 26650s, 22650s, 18650s, 17670s, 18490s, uh, 
17 uh, 500s, 18 350s, 16 340s, RCR 123s, uh, 14 500s, and 10, uh, four, uh, sorry, 10 440s. Uh, nickel metal, metal hydride, nickel metal cadmium, A, double A, triple A, quadruple A, and C, rechargeable batteries. So uh, basically, you got the whole gambit of uh, lithium ion batteries, as far as I know. And uh, notice that even on on uh, Amazon, they don't know they don't list all these batteries on Amazon as far as its uh, capabilities go. Maybe that's because they're uh, using ad copy from the version one. I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's any difference as far as capabilities between the version 1 and version 2 as far as charging goes. Uh, optimizing charging design for IMR batteries uh, features three charging modes, which is uh, uh, current charge, uh, uh, current, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, charge current, charge voltage, and trickle charge. Automatically detects battery status and selects appropriate voltage and, and charge mode, three color LEDs. Um, I showed you that on the video. Automatically stop charging when complete. Features overcharge prevention protection uh, to batteries. Features temperature monitoring to prevent overheating. Uh, it says it's made from durable ABS, fire retardant, fire flame resistant. I'm not testing that, but I'll take the word for it. Features reverse polarity protection. Again, I showed you that on the video. And this is really important. The input, vol input volt voltage is 100 to 240 so it's an international power supply inside the unit. So all you have to do is uh, feed it power, 50 to 60 hertz, or DC 12 volts. If you're in your car, boat, whatever, uh, or using solar energy, you can use the 12 volt uh, feed to it of one amp to make it go. And you can see that inside the manual as well. So let's get out of here. Here's the other thing I wanted to show you really quick, uh, just so you know the differences between the 2004 version 2 or the new version and the old version went straight from Nikkor site uh, it's kinda hard to fi find but it's in there on, under news and uh, they said Nikkor has already discontinued production of the original old version uh, the new, new, newly released i4 charges uh, chargers are models a new upgrade edition 24,000 sorry 2014 version some of the new i4s uh, will continue to use existing packages. The differences, the differences between the, the two versions are as follows. Well, as I showed you in the video, mine has the silver uh, slats or copper slats on the way down. Uh, that picture is not that great, so let's go down to this one. You can see a little better here. This one does not. This one does. And it says here, the new i4 is engineered with pure copper spring-loaded battery contact plates in the slots. Uh, contact metal points of the new I-4 are more convex, ensuring solid contact can be made between the points of the battery pole. So I can attest to that, it works pretty well. Um, they say this the uh, the I-4 has a more roughened ver uh, uh, surface on it, I don't know what difference that makes. Um, but basically I'm showing you the differences so you so that you know you know whether you're getting a new product or the old product. You want the new product, It's it's a better engineered product. It's got a better design to it. Even the power plug, if you look here, that looks kind of, you know, kind of loose. This looks like uh, it fits really nice into the box as well. I mean, they're both good. Just the i4 second version or second uh, new version is much better. And on the back, you'll see a difference that one says uh, Sysmax Inc. and in large letters, and it doesn't on it says it in small letters on the uh, newer version. So there's there's the differences. I'll post the links to those uh, to the uh, uh, the charger at Amazon and the uh, this page on, on Nikkor, as well as the product page on Nikkor. And by the way, all of this for under twenty dollars. I bought this for sixteen ninety nine, I believe, less than seventeen dollars. Can't believe what a great deal it is. I can't uh, recommend this charger highly enough. It works great and it covers all my batteries and it gets rid of all my old chargers. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here and that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, 
Okay? Again, thank you very much for your time and watching.